All right, from Jamal Crawford to Jason Terry to Nate Robinson, the NBA has featured Seattle natives in the league for decades. That run will continue with several rising stars now playing high school hoops in the 206. In this week's Prep Zone, Chris Egan takes a look at maybe the best boys high school league in the country. When it comes to high school basketball, it's tough to top the level of play in Seattle's Metro League. Metro League, I would put, honestly, and I mean this, I would put Metro League against any league in the country, and I would absolutely say that we, they, we would hold our own against any league in the country, no question about it. Ed Haskins has led Garfield to two state titles in the past three years, but this season the Bulldogs are not even the best team in the league. That honor usually belongs to Rainier Beach, a team that's won four state titles in five years. But even the Vikes sit below the top spot. Right now, the king of the Metro is also the number one ranked team in the country, Nathan Hale. I'm enjoying it as a coach. It's competitive. You know, there's some good coaches in this league. And, you know, I just think that, you know, we just got to be ready to meet the challenge because all of them are different, but they're all really good in their own ways. And that was evident last night as fourth seed at West Seattle gave the undefeated Raiders a run for their money. So from the top team to the bottom, we're pretty strong uh, in basketball this year, so we're very excited about that. Metro League President Eric McCurdy gives credit to the past Metro stars for raising the bar in the city. Seattle's put more people in the NBA the last 10 years than any other city, so the talent's always been thick here. It's been a great league. I knew it coming in that, you know, if we want to be a championship level team, if we can be one of the better teams in the Metro, we'll give ourselves a shot at it. The Metro has over a half dozen players headed to Division One next year. Jalen Noel from Garfield will play for the Huskies. I love playing against these dudes. Uh, very challenging every night. Every, a lot of talent on the floor. I mean, I just love it. Husky head coach Lorenzo Romar has recruited players across the globe, and he says it's hard to top the talent level in the Metro League. High, high level. I think they're it's been shown a couple teams that can compete with anyone in the country in that league. And while the league stars are applauded for their big jams, it's what they do in the classroom that's moving them onto the next level. The academic piece is key. And I think less than 1% overall graduate and go to pro. And so we're just trying to make sure the kids graduate at Garfield. We're a top 150 team, 150 school academically in the country. So, you know, we're, we're second to none in terms of academics. And, uh, you know, our academics are no joke. You can't go to college if you don't, if you don't handle your business in, in uh, school at this level. So it's important that they, they understand because they're young kids. They don't know what's, what's quite best for them right now at this age. And I think it's good that we, that we force those, those on some of these young kids because I know it happened with me, and I'm happy that somebody was there to make sure that I was, you know, not only getting it on the basketball side, but getting it on the, the grade side because, you know, it gives you opportunities after basketball. Good advice from an NBA player forced to retire from injuries much earlier than planned. In Seattle, Chris Egan, King 5 Sports.